What is taking place in Ukraine now is horrific. It's, uh, it's painful and we see human suffering, we see destruction at the scale we haven't seen in Europe since the Second World War. And I would like to commend the courage of the Ukrainian people standing up against the Russian invasion, standing up against uh, Putin's uh, forces. NATO is a defensive alliance. Our core task is to keep our 30 nations safe. We are not part of this conflict. And we have a responsibility to ensure it does not escalate and spread beyond Ukraine. Because that would be even more devastating and more dangerous. So uh, we have made it clear that we are not going to move into Ukraine neither on the ground or in the Ukrainian airspace. And of course, the only way to implement a no-fly zone is to send NATO planes, fighter planes, into Ukrainian airspace and then impose that no-fly zone by shooting down Russian planes. And our assessment is that uh, we understand the desperation, but we also believe that if we did that, we we'll end up with something that could end in a full-fledged war in Europe, involving many more countries and uh, causing much more human suffering.